Hey Sagittarius, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to do your readings for you. What's going on with you this week? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, Sagittarius. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Here we go. Okay, for Sagittarius. Okay, what is this? You in reverse. Okay, Sag. <laughs> What else? The tower is in reverse. Okay. So what is happening here? Someone could be getting extremely impatient. You could be dealing with a Scorpio um, for some of you or fellow Sagittarius. It's almost like someone does not want to deal with something or someone does not want to confront someone about something. When you have temperance in reverse, it's like Someone is not willing to hear the other person out or someone is not willing to explain their emotions, express emotions because they are possibly afraid of a tower happening. Okay. They don't upright. The tower happens in reverse. The tower is not happening. So someone is like imploding. Someone could be going through something on the inside. Okay. You or your person, vice versa. Okay, someone is not wanting to deal with something and someone is like tired of dealing with something as well, like getting impatient, like your patience is running out when it comes to a certain situation, but it's like not telling anyone what's going on. Okay, three of cups. This could be with a dating situation for some of you, friends, family, three of cups, there's something going on here. What is this energy? Let's get right into it. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Temperance reverse. What? What? Why is that in reverse <laughs> for Sagittarius? Why is that in reverse? We have the Seven of Cups. We have the Five of Wands. What is going on? Someone is losing it here. Three of Pentacles. I don't know if there, there could be like a lot of mental conflict, possibly surrounding a job or a Taurus in particular, or a relationship, okay? When you get the energy of the Harfont, someone could be going through something very chaotic right now. Seven of Cups with, these, with the Five of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. Like I said, this could be something where you are having conflict with someone around you. Something is not working out. And this could... Definitely for a lot of you be on your job, like a bunch of stuff going on between coworkers or managers, bosses. Okay. When you get the energy of the har font, you could be on a job that you just don't want to be on anymore. You could be in a relationship that's just not working out. There's a lot of conflict going on surrounding your energy. Hmm. Show me that tower reversed. Tower in reversed. What what is going on with the tower reversed? We have the King of Cups. Could definitely be a Scorpio for some of you. Six of Pentacles and Six of Wands. So someone is not realizing what they're doing. Because the tower, remember, the tower is all about powerful realization. So the fact that it's in reverse, someone is not... Someone is not uh, owning up to their actions or someone is acting like they don't do anything wrong. They're always right. With the energy of the Six of Wands, Six of Pentacles, they possibly breadcrumb you or give you just enough to get by. Emotionally speaking, someone is not fulfilling you emotionally. There's a lot of conflict in turmoil in this situation and you're getting very upset or impatient with this person or this situation or these people. Ooh, three of cups. Show me that three of cups, please. Three of cups. Nine of cups. Eight of cups. And the seven of wands. Yeah. I feel like you don't want to be... It's like be in a relationship or you don't want to be 
in this friendship group. There's something with the Three of Cups. It's like things were good at one point or you had hoped that things would work out with someone. Reconciliation possibly. But now Nine of Cups, what you desire is to walk away. Eight of Cups with the Seven of Wands putting up a guard. And this could be very difficult for some of you dealing with the Leo, possibly. But with the Strength card, something is very difficult. It's calling upon your strength, okay? Yeah, show me the energy of the person surrounding Sagittarius. What is the energy of this person? We have the Four of Wands. King of Swords could be an air sign for some of you. Five of Swords. Ooh. So it's like this person, they may tell you they want a relationship. If this is romantically involved, they could want a relationship, right? Or that's what they're telling you. But then there's this little energy over here of the Five of Swords. Someone is being like immature or strategic about what they're doing. What is that in energy there? Strength card is back out. The Har font. And the Eight of Wands. So I feel like there's a struggle when it comes to this person to actually commit. Someone is being very non-committal or making things difficult here. We do have the Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Page of Wands back here as well. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. So it's like this person admires you. But then there's this immature energy that this person keeps coming through with. What What is that energy? Why is there an immature energy there? Six of Cups. Hanged Man. Okay. <laughs> it's like someone is stuck in the past or stuck on a connection with you. It could be a Pisces. But Three of Swords is here. Why the Three of Swords? Why is this person hurting? Knight of Wands, okay, Eight of Swords, and Justice. So if this person cheated or they were a player or anything like that, they it's like they feel bad, but you know how someone can feel bad, but they're not apologizing for what they're doing, or they're not willing to just tell you like I messed up or, you know, I really messed up this situation or I messed up this connection. Wow. What? <laughs> it's almost like too prideful to say that they're wrong to make things right. They're thinking about it. They know they messed up with you. They know they did something to hurt you or disappoint you. But at the same time, this person is too prideful to admit it. Okay. And how is Sagittarius feeling at this time? Hermit. So you are definitely not wanting to deal with this. Knight of Cups. Seven of Swords. For some of you, you may feel like just secretly talking to someone else or dealing with things on your own. You may be uh, interested in other people as well with the Knight of Cups, Seven of Swords. You may not be letting this person know your plans. You're kind of running away from love at the moment as well. So though you may be interested in other people, you may not be seriously involved with anyone right now. Some of you are just friendly or having friendly connections with people because you're in hermit mode. Why? Knight of Swords, Queen of Cups, the Magician, Magician, Five of Cups. So you feel like every time you try to pursue someone, you don't get what you want. Every time you go after something, Knight of Swords, Queen of Cups, with your emotions... You may have been the one chasing after lovers. You may have been the one always to pursue. You're a fire sign, so that tends to happen with you guys. Fire signs, you typically know what you want. 
It's other people who sometimes are indecisive. So you may have been in the position of the one who's pursuing, the one who's calling, the one who's initiating meetings or meeting updates and stuff like that. But this is what you always get. This is the energy. You manifest, but five of cups, you always end in regret. Or you feel this way this week. You may be thinking this way. Like every time I put a, put my heart on the line, I get disappointed. So what's the point? Yeah. What does this person want to say to Sagittarius at this time? What do they want to say? Two of Pentacles. Okay. The World card and the Devil energy. Capricorn is here. So... It's like they want to know if they can start this with you or restart something with you, right? But it's more of a like sexual thing or sexual connection that the two of you may have or that this person is feeling toward you. I saw the King of Cups over here, but like I said, the tower was in reverse. It's like this person is not realizing something. What are they not getting? What are they not realizing? This person, what are they not realizing? Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, the star. This is what they're not realizing. Wow, thank you, Spirit. Plain and simple. They're not realizing that what you want is an actual relationship. King and Queen of Pentacles, you just want some someone that you can depend on. You want someone who's your wish, the star card. You want this. You want stability. You just want a goddamn relationship that's going to be serious and someone who's serious about you, someone who's straightforward, someone who has money, who can take care of themselves, you know, who has a good head on their shoulders. You don't ask for much. You know, you just want someone who's willing to work with you, cooperate. This is what you want. And I ask, what is this person not getting? This is what they're not getting with you. They're not getting it. They don't understand it. It's like they're approaching you the wrong way. They're approaching you completely the wrong way. And it's like you're getting tired. Your patience is wearing very thin with this person. Um, and for some of you, like I said, these people, these people um, on your job, okay? Some of you family, you just want to get along with people, but that may not be happening right now. Okay. Now, if this is resonating for love, stick with the love side. You just want this person to understand where you're coming from and they're not. Yeah. Will of Fortune, Three of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. It may be time to move on from this connection as the wheel turns, Wheel of Fortune with the Three of Wands waiting for something better, you'll get clarity and truth. You're going to come to some type of realization here that uh, this is not the person that you need to invest your time or energy in. This is not the job that you need to stay on. This is not the people that you need to be around. Any other insight for Sagittarius and this connection? With this person, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, any other insight? Keep an open mind. It says you, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So the person that you may have had this interaction with or had these feelings for, this may not be the person that you're supposed to be with. That's why Spirit is saying keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So look for something greater. Engagement. It says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Waiting for something better. Waiting for your ships to come in. You're going to receive clarity. Okay? Some of you, you're ascending. So some of you have outgrown this person. You've outgrown this situation. Okay? And let's come to this deck. What's the advice for Sagittarius in this connection, this situation? What's the advice for Sagittarius? In the near future, in the near future, there may be some big changes. Remember I said, as the wheel turns, 
wheel of fortune. As time unfolds, as the wheel turns, as you're waiting for your ships to come in, three of wands, waiting for things to get better, better, truth and clarity comes in, in the near future. Something changes, something develops. Look at that. <laughs> as I'm saying that, I felt the need to pull one more card. Big, happy changes in the near future. Um, but I feel like you may have been in a, a karmic situation. Um, and this situation has possibly taught you a lot about yourself and about what you're willing to tolerate and what you're not willing to tolerate. Okay. So pay attention to your connections this week. Um, especially if you're dealing with someone romantically who, uh, has kept you in like this place of limbo, things have been off and on or in and out. You guys keep an open mind. You may have to let go of this person to receive the person that you're really supposed to be with. Alrighty, Sagittarius, that is your energy. Don't forget to like, to share, and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I do look forward to hearing from you. Take care. Bye.